So I'm going to be discussing um, essentially problems uh, in construction, certainly in renovation projects. It's very well-known um, saying that construction always takes twice as long and costs twice as much than originally factored for. And I want to go into one of the details on this project just to explain why these things happen. Um, so in the kitchen, this is one of the problems we had to overcome. Here's a 3D um, picture of the finished kitchen um, from the kitchen designer so you normally you're working from the architect's drawings here and the architect presumes certain amounts with the kitchen and the layout and how the house is going to be how the how the original house is set out um obviously they can only factor that they can take measurements and they aren't um they don't have um x-ray vision so they can't see through the structure so it's all of this is assumed um then when we come on site we need to actually open these areas up and check if there are going to be problems and problems that are going to cost more money and cost more time and notify clients and the architects at the early stages so that people can be aware um, to work out if we're going to change the design or if we're going to do extra work to make it fit. So the architect's drawings shows three units here and the kitchen designer shows four. So You've always got numerous designers on the project. The clients are designers. You've got uh, bathrooms. You've normally got a bathroom designer, kitchen, a kitchen designer, interior designer. You've got the architects who are designers, the structural engineer. And oftentimes these um, elements, they um, clash with each other. So the kitchen designer just thinks about kitchens. The client wanted double ovens, which meant two units like this. And for symmetry, because everyone likes symmetry, it meant two larders either side. So the kitchen design, the space here, needed to be bigger than it was originally allowed for here. Now, the um, this wall here, which is this wall here, um, and this wall, this is the original house. So neither of this could move because you've got the entire house on top of it and it's in the middle of the house and that's expensive and complicated to move. So this is fixed and this is fixed. He can set the L shape as uh, to suit this space, but then we have this space here. So if I come back, so this dimension was fixed and he set his units to suit. But from here to here, um, one fixed element was there was going to be a pocket door here. So I'll try and bring up one of my drawings. And so here, this was the kitchen units, this was the pocket door through to the side extension. And the original wall of the house, I'll try and find that, so the existing layout. So here's the same distance the kitchen units were here and the pocket door was here. So this was the original corner and where we were extending through. But that was not going to allow the space. You can see the difference. The wall stops here at the corner and here at the corner, it wouldn't fit. So we needed to move this section. Um, now, looking at it uh, objectively, you think we're just moving one wall, no big problem. However, that was a load-bearing wall and quite complicated because there were steel beams to sit over this section and rest on the wall um, here. So it was designed to be load-bearing and there were some original steels in the house. So it was actually quite complicated to move it. So I ascertained the problem and then tried to work out a solution. So here, I'm not going to go too much into it and bore people, but this was my suggestion in order to remove that section of the existing beams. I suggested a post on the corner, the new beams to sit under the old beams um, to allow that wall to be moved and the design to remain. And then we could build a new stud wall and create the exact space we wanted. Uh, what further complicated this is the design of the kitchen uh, was to have no filler panels whatsoever around any of the kitchen. So there's a 10 mil shadow gap all the way around at every edge of the kitchen. It's absolutely beautiful kitchen, probably my favorite kitchen that I've ever fitted. Um, but that meant we needed to build everything exact. There was no room for error, no tolerance. So um all in all you've got a week to two weeks for me to figure out the solution which is here and as i said this is before uh 3d so i'm sketching this out in my head trying to figure it out 
then do some drawings to illustrate what I'm talking about. So we've got a couple of weeks here, uh, including pricing it. Then I need to go back to the architects and the client and say, look, we need to resolve this issue. This is the price. And a change like this is at least seven to eight thousand pounds plus the VAT. So the best part of ten thousand pounds. So naturally, the client's going to um, not be best pleased with the additional cost. And we'll look at alternate options ultimately they want the kitchen that they want and the space isn't there so it has to be moved so you've got another week or so while the client's making up their mind then we need to um, get the new steels ordered and delivered to site at least another week so we're talking four to five weeks during which period the kitchen has been put on hold because we don't we can't order it so the kitchen then is ordered four to six weeks later then the kitchen fitters need to be put back. Um, then obviously they'll have their schedule booked. So then they need to reschedule us. So it might be they might come back eight weeks later than originally planned. So what originally seems to be quite simple, moving a wall. Um, that's why sometimes an often place um, ends up being costly and timely. So um, £10,000 in six to eight weeks. Thank you very much. And on renovations projects, uh, this these happen all the time. You'd normally get at least one to two elements like this on a renovation project. Uh, on an older property, you know, you might get three or four, but the older the property, the, the higher the probability of the these issues occurring and um, as a builder we need to try and keep the build um, ticking along we've got guys on site we've got people booked in the clients have moved out um, and these, the goals posts are always moving so this is uh, this is why jobs often cost more and take more time so this was just uh, one as I said, what seems quite simple, but in the end was quite costly. The reality is the finished product um, was absolutely stunning. So I'll see, I'll put, there'll be pictures um, on the website for sure, but the finished um, pictures of the kitchen is absolutely stunning. So um, yeah, it was worth it in the end, but um, certainly a challenge to get there. So I hope that was of some interest. Thanks.